Hi guys, it's Sarah. I'm back with another video and today I wanted to draw my team from Let's Go Pikachu. Um, I've always played Pokemon ever since um, like I was a little girl and um, I don't know, I've played it like every single generation and I played through Let's Go Eevee on my boyfriend's Switch and then he got me Let's Go Pikachu, uh, I think it was recently and i've just been like playing through it and I, there was a point where i kind of stopped playing it for a little bit i think because i was just like really stressed out with work and everything and then i would want to like come home and just like sleep um so um but i want to try to pick up all my hobbies again and try to just have things to do that I really like just to kind of keep me happy and keep me sane because I don't know it's just been kind of rough lately just with everything going on and um work especially has been pretty intense and insane so yeah just trying to come home and try to like unwind and just um just try to keep myself happy so yeah but I really wanted to draw a drawing like this for a long time. This is like probably the biggest drawing I've ever done. This is like huge for me, uh, especially having like six Pokemon plus uh, a person in the drawing. So this is this was like really ambitious, but I'm really happy that I did it. It did take a long time. It took like maybe, hmm, let's see, maybe like... I think the coloring took an hour and a half and then probably sketching it all maybe like 20 30 minutes so maybe this took like two hours or something like that give or take but i think it was worth it i think it was fun i think i like learned a lot just from doing something huge like this and i always wanted to draw something like this so i'm happy i finally did it i definitely loved coloring it like the coloring for me is always my favorite part i just love like filling in all the lines and like bringing it to life and just seeing how it all comes together so i'm really just happy that i did this um yeah so let's see i'm coloring Grabidash right now this was the hardest one to draw for me horse anatomy is really 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 hard to master and i'm not good at it at all but um, I still tried anyway. Uh, yeah, especially like the flames for its mane. That is really hard as well. Um, it's just something I'm not very comfortable with, but I still tried anyway. Um, fun fact, when I was little, I used to really love horses and just like ponies in general. Um, so I used to play on my Nintendo 64. That game is uh, Pokemon Stadium. And... There used to be like this little segment on there where you can take pictures of Pokemon. It was kind of like Pokemon Snap, but it was better than Pokemon Snap because it was, um, it just, like the graphics just looked a little bit better. And, um, it, it had the 3D models of every Pokemon from Gen 1. So it was really cool. So you could turn the camera around and stuff like that. And so I was using that as like references for drawing, which was really cool because back, back when I was little and like back in my day, like... The internet was like not even a thing so you know i was just trying to make do with what i had so um yeah that's what i did that's actually really smart i was pretty creative as a kid i don't know what happened but um <laughs> yeah but that's what i used to do i used to use the um the little picture segment so that you could i would just use it as like 3d models so i could draw pokemon so that was really cool um yeah, I just wanted to mention that. I thought that was interesting. Um, I used like four different colors for the mane just so I can make it kind of look like it's um, glowing a bit. Like fire. Bleh, fire. I can't talk. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I really... I It came out pretty decent. Especially for me not like being very comfortable with that. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed drawing Rabidash. It, it brought back a lot of memories, a lot of like nostalgia, like nostalgia for me, and um, yeah, I don't know. The only thing that killed my love for horses was when 
I went to a ranch when I was like 12 or 13 and um, the horses there were not nice and the one horse I had was trying to knock me off and I got I got hurt pretty bad. Um, it tried to knock me off so I got bruised a lot and then it was trying to run into like a pond for some reason and then we were going across traffic and it just stopped in the dead middle of traffic and I had cars beeping at me and it was terrible. I was like 12 or 13 so I was just like... I was panicking. I didn't know what to do. I never rode a horse before, so um, I told the instructor, and he said, "Oh yeah, if um, you don't know what they're doing, they're gonna they're gonna try to knock you off." I was like, "Oh, well, that's nice." So, and this was on my birthday too. So, uh, when we got back to the barn um, or the ranch, whatever it was, um, I just jumped off the horse and I smacked my head against somebody's car, and I just left. <laughs> I was just so done at that point. I was like, yeah, no, I'm not doing this ever again. Um, yeah, so that that was what happened. That's why uh, horses are not my favorite animal anymore, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, this is me coloring Clefairy. I've always really liked Clefairy. Or no, Clefable, I'm sorry. I knew what I wanted to say, but I said the wrong evolution. Um, I always really liked Clefairy and I also kind of liked Clefable because it's kind of just like I don't know like big and derpy looking um but yeah I really really like it I've always wanted to use one and I finally got the chance to use one in uh, Let's Go Pikachu so I was really happy with it um I have noticed a lot of my favorite Pokemon evolve with like evolutionary stones for some reason like Clefairy into Clefable and like Eevee into Vaporeon and like skitty into delcaddy like a lot of my favorite pokemon evolves with stones oh yeah even vileplume in this picture vileplume needs a uh, a leaf stone to evolve so yeah i noticed that it's really weird a lot of my favorite pokemon evolve with stones but yeah it was kind of strange but yeah i liked drawing clefairy and um i don't know it was fun it, i got to finally use a pokemon that i've been wanting to use for a long time so i thought that was really interesting and uh, now I'm coloring my Pikachu, and yeah, that obviously was my starter Pokemon for this game. Um, let's see. I don't know. I don't really have much to say about Pikachu. I've always really, I've always liked Pikachu, but I liked Raichu a little bit more. I think just going back to the original anime with uh, Lieutenant Surge and his Raichu, that thing was like overpowered AF, but it was just so like fun to watch like the rivalry between pikachu and raichu i thought that was always really like interesting and fun and uh yeah i don't know that's another one another one that evolves with an evolutionary stone see i don't know why it's it's weird it's really strange um yeah i don't know i i definitely like raichu a little bit better but that's okay i think it's fun to kind of have the starter and have it like just stay its base form i think it's kind of like a call back to the anime with uh, ash and his pikachu or like dawn and her piplop like i think it's really like fun and interesting to have that um in like in the games so yeah uh this is me coloring my character from the let's go uh pikachu playthrough um, for some reason, I really liked the police outfit, so that's what, um, you'll see me color in here. I don't know why, I just thought it was really, like, cute. Um, the other outfits looked kind of plain, so that's why I chose this one. But I also really like the sailor's outfit, too. I almost contemplated drawing that one because I had that on my character for a long time, so that was, like, my second choice, but I really liked the police outfit i thought it was cute it just i don't know i think it's really cute and like i've always really liked officer jenny's look so the fact that we get to have like the same outfit is really like cool and interesting except i think her her bottom piece is a skirt and not shorts but that's okay um yeah no i really i really like doing this and i liked um having like the dark blue in there and i tried to stay away from using black but i mean i, I kind of needed it for the outfit it was part of the outfit so i wasn't gonna fight it too much but i don't know i think it um 
I think I brought something to it. I think it kind of like drew the attention to the character. So I like that. Also, the character is in the middle. So, I mean, it's fine. It's a good focal point for the drawing. Um, but yeah, that's all I really have to say about that. Um, I don't know. I guess um, I wish there was more like customization for this game as far as like your character player goes but i mean i guess they did what they could and also i mean they had to do the 3d models for all the pokemon and also the walking animation so for each pokemon so i guess they kind of had a lot to do also i really like that you can ride rabidash like in the game like you can ride it like you can ride the horse like it just i don't know it's so cool. I was just playing with it and I was riding on Rabbit Ash just like through all the cities and like to the gyms and stuff. And we were on Victory Road and we were riding through the sunset going to like the Pokemon League. Like it was just really fun for me. I thought it was really cute. And I liked that little detail that like if Pokemon are big enough, you can ride on them. I think that's really like fun and interesting. So I'm glad that they added that into the game. Also, I'm sorry if you're not like a huge folk, like Pokemon fan and this is kind of like um, maybe boring to you, but um, I don't know, this is just what I've been doing recently and I couldn't really think of anything else I really wanted to do at the moment. So I really had fun with this and um, I wanna do another one for when I play through Let's Go Eevee again, because I don't know if I, if I explained this, but my first playthrough on Let's Go Eevee was on my boyfriend's Switch. And I ended up getting my own Switch so that I could play games, you know what I mean, while he's playing. It just made more sense for me because there's times where he takes the Switch to like work or something and he plays on his break or like when he goes on trips, he brings it on the plane. So it just made sense for me to have one myself. And I do like having, I have the Switch Lite. I think that's better for me because I don't really like playing connected to the TV. It's not something I like. It hurts my eyes and I don't like being like strapped to like a giant screen and just having to stay right there. I'm someone that likes to just like be portable and just bring it wherever I'm at. I know you could do that if you just did the handheld mode for the Switch, but to me also it's very like big and bulky and I have like tiny little hands and uh, it's hard for me to hold. I even tried holding like his Switch and just carrying it around like that and it was just kind of um, like a hassle. I like things that are a little bit smaller, a little bit more portable. So the Switch Lite was just like better for me and it's, it's a preference thing, everyone's different. You know, like everybody's like, they have their own preferences with what they like and what they don't like. And I just like having something that's more handheld and more portable. So yeah, that's why I have that. Um, now I'm coloring Vaporeon. Vaporeon is my favorite, favorite, favorite Eevee evolution from the original evolutions of Eevee being Flareon, Vaporeon, and Jolteon. I love Vaporeon. I don't, I don't know why. I guess because it's a water type. I My favorite type is ice, but water is very similar to that. That's why I like a lot of water types as well. Um, so I don't know. I just remember playing through Pokemon Stadium and when you would send out Vaporeon, it was so pretty. Like it has all these sparkles around it and stuff and it just looks so like majestic and beautiful. And I don't know, I really like it. Uh, Vaporeon is my favorite evolution for sure. Second place goes to Flareon and third place goes to Jolteon. I don't really like Jolteon that much. Um, but yeah, no, Vaporeon, definitely my favorite of the original three. I think my favorite evolution of all time is Glaceon, just because, you know, it's ice type. And I remember when I first saw it on the cover of, um, it was a Diamond and Pearl, like, handbook or whatever. I just like fell in love with it. I was like, oh my God, I need it. I need it. It's beautiful. And in the anime, May has a Glaceon. And that was really crazy because I had a Glaceon before she had a Glaceon. Like I had a Glaceon before she came back into the anime. And I thought that was cool because May was always my favorite. And I was like, oh my God, we picked the same Pokemon. Like I thought that was cool. Um, yeah, second evolution, probably Sylveon. Fairy types are another one of my favorites. I think they're really cute and girly and pink is one of my favorite colors my other favorite color being blue so i really really like sylveon as well 
obviously Vaporeon's up there. Um, Espeon's another one of my faves. Um, I actually am taking a liking to Leafeon now. I used to not like Leafeon, but I actually found one in the wild in my Pokemon Shield game. And that thing is a beast. Like, it has all these really good, like, attack moves, like Leaf Blade. And I don't know. I use it on my team, and I, I love it. I think it's amazing, so... Kudos to Leafeon for being a good team member. Um, now I'm coloring Vileplume. Vileplume is probably my favorite grass type. I really, really like Vileplume. Ever since I was little and I would watch like the anime, um, I think Erica has a Vileplume or maybe she has a Gloom in the anime. I think it's a Gloom, but um, either way, I always really liked Vileplume. I thought it was really, really cute. And it's a giant flower, and I'm a huge, huge fan of flowers, so this little thing is just so, like, adorable to me. And it's it's another one of those Pokemon where it's, like, it's kind of derpy, but it's also kind of cute at the same time. You know, like, Vileplume, I don't know, it's, like, it's kind of cute. It's, like, it's, like, a little derp, but it's also really cute. Kind of, like, the same way, like, the same way I like Psyduck, you know? It's, like, cute, but it's, like... I don't know it looks kind of weird but it, it's still like it's weird in like a cute way if that makes sense so i don't know it's like the same way i like psyduck and i just thought of psyduck because i was watching detective pikachu yesterday so that's where that came from um i don't know i almost like i almost kept my psyduck on my team but then i was like oh i really like vaporeon so maybe in like another playthrough i'll have my psyduck and evolve it into gold duck so I don't know there's a lot of like water types i like there's a lot of like i don't know like ice type obviously ice types are my favorite but i love like a lot of water types and ice types and stuff like that um here i'm coloring dragonite dragonite is like another like derpy but cute pokemon like he looks like he's from dragon tails like that's why i think that's the reason why i really like him like he's just so cute and he's really strong and I just remember playing through leaf green and like one of the i think it's in the game corner one of the prizes you can get like you can get pokemon as prizes for like some of the higher amounts and one of them is a dratini so that's dragonite's first stage and i would just play at the game corner until i had enough coins to get a dratini so i could evolve it into dragonair and evolve it into dragonite like dragonite is a beast in that game it's just so powerful and strong and this is another one in let's go pikachu that you can ride on its back and i think that's so like cute and interesting and also i had the perfect marker color for this dragonite i'm pretty sure it's my copic in the color honey um i might have to double check that i'm pretty sure that's what it is though but i just thought it was just like the perfect color for it and also i remember in uh one of the Pokemon movies, Dragonite, delivers, like, mail to the trainers. I think it's, is it Pokemon 2000? I don't remember which one it is. But he delivers the mail to, like, Ash and Misty and Brock. And it's really cute. Maybe it's Mewtwo Strikes Back. I don't remember. I, I get all the titles confused. Like, I know what movie it is, but I can't remember, like, what the title was called. So, Yeah. But anyway, I hope you guys liked this. I hope it wasn't too boring. And I hope you liked my Pokemon drawing. And um, maybe I'll draw some more in the future. But I want to thank you for watching. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.